Shout out to Mr. Brown, Mary. Mr. Junior. Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on two big dogs this fight game. We have the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fight on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, the undisputed super middleweight world champion, looking to be the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, and one of the greatest to ever lace him up. Then we have King Ryan Garcia, one of the hottest young stars in the game, fighting at the lightweight division. He's back after his, you know, hiatus for his mental health issues, and, you know, um, you know, Ryan Garcia said some things that confirmed Canelo Alvarez' um, position when he said he came to the gym for 20 minutes and then he left. But Ryan broke down the reason why he had left the gym. So I want y'all to listen to what Ryan had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. You know, I already kind of addressed this uh, on my Twitter, which everybody could freely go read. Um, but I will say that, you know, Canelo... It's kind of more of a, I think, a language thing because he knows what I went through and he knows that my worth ethic is, you know, it's insane when it comes to boxing. Like, I'm, I ask, ask Eddie, Eddie knows. It's the fact that he may not have realized really what I was going through. He, when he sees me go to the gym and then leave, he's never seen that before. But when I did that, it was because I was being forced to go because I was trying my best to be okay. And I wasn't. That was the time that I stopped because, yeah, I was going through something. I, I'm not. I wasn't quiet about it. I told everybody, like, yeah, this is a problem. But uh, that's what a break is. <laughs> you take a break from the ring. So, so Ryan says, you know, Canelo. He never seen that before. So he confirmed that when Canelo said he come to the gym, train for 20 minutes and leave, he said Canelo never seen that happen to him before. But it's true, right? But he said, you know, he, he might not know what I've been going through. So did you explain to him specifically what you were going through? You see what I'm saying? Like Canelo, he come to the gym. He's training. He's doing his thing. Um, he said could be a language barrier. We're not going to deny that. But Canelo understand English quite well. He know what the fuck going on. Eddie know what the hell's going on. You know what I'm saying? So when you come to the gym, you know, you probably, you probably not explaining things as you should, Ryan. You know what I mean? You probably beating around the bush or something because, you know, you're going through a situation and you don't want people to know you're going through that shit. So, you know, Canelo can only speak on what he see. He can only speak on what he see, right? It's like if I'm in the gym training and somebody talking shit, they come in, they train for 20 minutes and leave. What I'm supposed to say? You feel me? What am I supposed to say? So I really think it's up to you, Ryan, to break down what you was really going through or, or you don't. You know what I mean? You don't. Like, Canelo is not the fucking trainer. Eddie Reynoso is the trainer. But Canelo is the star in the gym. So when you come in around and you do those things and he's looking at you, of course he's going to get uh, a perception of you. You know what I mean? And Canelo has had a perception of you because I don't think he would have said what he said in front of the camera um, the day if he really knew what you was going through 120%. So I don't think you was being very transparent, right, on everything that you were going through to put Canelo in the mindset to say, God damn, right, I didn't know you was really, you know what I'm saying, at that time, at that time, bro. So you can't be mad and pissed off at Canelo Alvarez coming at you, speaking about your work ethic, you know, when all he know is hard work. All he know is stand in the gym, get better, get better, go out here and do this, perform. You dig what I'm saying? So it, it, it just got to be... Um, call straight down the middle you got to call it straight down the middle you understand what i'm saying so looking at the situation bro ryan garcia confirms what canelo alvarez said to be true you know what i mean he confirmed that and not only that he confirmed that you know um canelo didn't know what he was going through 120 percent you feel me so you can't be pissed off at canelo alvarez and people out here that screaming, oh, Canelo Alvarez is just saying that shit to protect Eddie Reynoso. He's lying. He's lying. No, Ryan just confirmed it, bro. He just confirmed it. You know? Now, I don't think Ryan reached back out to Canelo um, after he went on his break or went on a vacation with his girl to, you know, to relax his mind, which is his God-given right. Right? I don't think he reached out to Canelo and was letting him know everything that was going on, bro. And somebody in the Canelo Alvarez position who's the face of fucking boxing, who's doing his thing in the gym, you know, he's focusing on uh, what he got coming up because he had a big-time fight coming up, 
You understand what I'm saying? And, and, you know, he can't get distracted from that shit. He can't get distracted from it. But at the end of the day, you do look around the gym and you don't see Ryan Garcia, right? You do see the other fighters working uh, working their ass off. And one thing you do see is Eddie Reynoso putting in what? Hard work and time. You see Eddie Reynoso putting in hard work and fucking time. You dig what I'm saying? So when we see that situation, it's like, damn, you come and work with Eddie for this and you're gone. And then I'm quite sure you ask, Eddie, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck did the kid leave for 20 minutes? You know what I mean? Like, you know, Canelo go ask questions. All right, what the fuck is he leaving for? It's only 20 minutes, but I don't know, man. These fucking kids, they want to be fucking great, but nobody wants to fucking work. You know what I mean? So um, he was going to get on Andy, Andy Ruiz's ass as well. So that's how you know Canelo Alvarez is not just picking on Ryan Garcia, bro. That's how you know Canelo is not just picking on Ryan Garcia, right? Canelo is paying attention to the jam. He's paying attention to the jam, right? Like, Andy, you show your big ass up one day, then you be gone three or four days, right? Like, what the fuck are y'all think this is? Y'all think this a game? Y'all think we're here to play? Nah, man, we are a winning circle over here, bro. We are a winning circle. I'm getting fight of the year. Uh, we Eddie getting trained of the year. Like, we don't have time for that, bro. We don't have time for that. You understand what I'm saying? You are a fighter. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. You're in a fucking gladiator sport, bro. This is a kill or be killed sport that we in. This is a fucking Iron Man sport that we in. You feel me? Bro, you got to be right 120% mentally to go out there and perform the way you want to perform. 120% mentally, you have to be fucking right to perform the way you want to perform. You feel me? So if you're not right mentally, how can you fucking judge a coach? How can you judge the coach? But you're not giving 120%. But you want to blame it on the coach? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? You understand what I'm saying? So Canelo is going to come out and defend his fucking best friend slash brother slash trainer slash manager, right? But the first thing, you know, his best friend that got him to where he's at and that he grew up with since a fucking kid, bro. Since a kid. At the end of the day. You feel me? And we know Ryan got a, a thousand things going on, got a thousand fucking um, voices in this in, in this earth telling him, do this, do that, do this, do that, right? You know what I mean? So we just got to have some consistency. And that's what Monty Brown want to see. I want to see some consistency on when people speak. You know what I mean? When you speak on certain things and you're saying things ain't going this way or it ain't going that way, you have to bring consistency and truth with that shit, bro. Right, you can't put a little truth and then add what you want, or then you know don't be consistent down the line, right? And then people want to say that I'm just sitting up here talking bullshit or just speculate. I'm listen, I'm good with seeing things, bro. I'm good with seeing things, and the shit that I say, uh, majority of the time coming to fruition. I'm not saying I'm no fucking Nostradamus or none of that shit, but I know what I see. I can read shit. I know bullshit when I hear, and I know what somebody telling the truth. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I know what somebody telling the truth. So when I'm looking at this whole situation, even before a spiral to this, even before Canelo Alvarez spoke and Ryan Garcia said what he said, bro, I hit the hit, hit the nail on the coffin. I hit the nail on the coffin on some things, bro. And it started coming out. Right? It started coming out. You know, but people ain't gonna come back and apologize to me about that shit. They not. They're just gonna continue to try to look and try to, you know, find cracks and shit to try to tell me that I'm a liar and I'm just making up shit. But at the end of the day, you know, when Ryan talk about his work ethic, now don't get me wrong, he had five fights with Eddie Reynoso, five. Five. He said the first training camp was fucking great, right? So I'm quite sure he showed um, a good work ethic in the first training camp. But the other four, right, when Ryan said um, Eddie only showed up two weeks before a training camp, what happened in the other three? What happened in the other three, right? Were you consistent? Was Eddie consistent? You know what I'm saying? What was going on in that shit? That's what I'm saying. Like, we're not getting the full stories through everything here. And to, and to you know, take a man and put a man on trial and to try to, you know, really put a man um, character and hard work on trial, then you're going to have to bring up everything leading up to that. Everything leading up to that. One fight, great training camp, four more left. One you say came two weeks or, um, before the fight, we got to know what happened in the other three. You know what I'm saying? We got to know what happened in the other three. But right now, everybody, Ryan Garcia has came out and confirmed everything Canelo Alvarez said um, to be true. To be true. 
So y'all see right now, Canelo Alvarez don't do nothing but speak the truth. You feel me? He don't do nothing but speak the truth. He said, you come in, 20 minutes, you train, you out the door, you call, you say you'll be there at this time, you're there at a different time. Um, you know, it's like, you, you can't be mad at Canelo and you can't say that, oh, well, he's lying and this, that, and the third. He don't know what's going on. When, when he's saying what's going on and you confirming what he said, what was going on? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And then you say, well, he's not saying everything. No, you're not saying everything, bro. You did. So when I look at this situation, man, um, you know, it's best that Ryan Garcia go his way and Canelo and Eddie go their way, right? Because Canelo and Eddie is a team, right? It's best that they split they split ways because you can tell it was tension there that that haven't been talked about, you know, that people are hold, holding it in and not, and not speaking on it or feeling some type of way, whether it's behind the scenes or in the gym. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, that's the worst thing that can ever happen. Not to fucking sit right there face to face and, and, and speak out what you think is wrong, bro. Speak out what you think is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, man, um, I feel like Canelo Alvarez is right doing what he's doing. Um, Ryan Garcia just confirmed that Canelo Alvarez is right. I still feel like Ryan is wrong for, for saying the things that he said about Eddie, um, not having enough time. I still can't just get with that narrative, you know, maybe come out with something different or show some more proof. Then we can move along with saying, okay, I see what you mean. But right now, I get Eddie the benefit of the doubt where Ryan Garcia say he didn't have enough time. I feel like he did have enough time. I just feel like Ryan didn't have enough time for himself, right? He said he had to be forced to be there. Who knows what's going on with the other three training camps or, or the situation, bro? You feel me? So right now, bro, Ryan Garcia, you still digging yourself a, a deeper grave with the situation with Eddie Reno, so in my opinion, right? I just feel like now um, it should come to the point to where um, you're not answering no more of these questions. You're moving on. All you want to talk about is the fight that you got coming up and not Eddie Reynoso and um, Canelo Alvarez because, you know, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. You feel me? Like I say, I wish you the best. Um, yes, I am going to be watching your fight, and I'm going for you. You feel me? But at this point, nah, I think you should stop just speaking on Canelo and Eddie and the reason why you left the gym and, you know, what Canelo said about your work ethic and things like that. You did because you're going out there knocking this man out. Don't prove that um, your work ethic is not um, what Eddie said it was because you got five knockouts and five fights with Eddie. So you're really not proving nothing, bro. At the end of the day, good luck to you. Shouts out to Canelo. Shouts out to Eddie Reynoso. And to the end, it's your boy Monty's the NSBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG money on Cash App. Trey Hampton 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.